What's up, Fit Fam? Make here with another video. I figured since I had a little bit of time, just a little bit, I would fill you guys in on what you really, really need to know if you're about to go to drill sergeant school or thinking about going to drill sergeant school. Basically, know your first three modules when you first get there. You're gonna need to know your, your the top three, uh, position of attention, the rest positions, and the hand salute. So you're gonna wanna know those three when you first get there because you're gonna draw, you don't know which one you're gonna get. Besides, it's, it's good to know them anyways because those are like the main things that you're gonna wanna know as a drill sergeant anyways. So when you get there, prior to coming, make sure you're on point with DNC, make sure you know cadences, because that's going to be your bread and butter right there. So if you suck at marching, you suck at uh, singing cadences, you might want to tighten that up. Because when it comes to your leadership evaluation, if you can't sing a cadence from A to B, you might be marching for like 5 to 10 minutes. And if you can't consistently call a cadence, you're going to get fired. I kid you not. Um, so no DNC, no cadences. Um, brush up on skill level 10 stuff because to be honest everything you relearn or learn while you're in drill sergeant school is 10 level skills you're just going to need to basically be able to teach it pitch it whatever you want to call it a couple of different ways you're going to need to be able to break it down by the numbers step by step talk through or even barney style so basically 10 level stuff is going to be your money maker obviously i mean you're going to be in an IET with basic or AIT. Um, so 10 level stuff. You want to brush up on that. Um, so the, I would say the main takeaway for me was modules, modules, modules. Um, a good way to study your modules is to basically when you get your module, you're going to read the whole thing a couple times and then start trying to say it without looking read the whole thing a couple times start trying to say it without looking um also record yourself pitching the module that seemed to help me a lot so like i would record myself and everywhere i went i would just listen to myself pitching a module i would say it with myself on on my phone or whatever that i had recorded um and then you're also going to want to find a good group that you're going to be able to pitch with each other so you're gonna see a lot of that if you're going to drill sergeant school people walking around looking like zombies talking about the next movement the next position which i would name explain <laughs> and it's gonna look funny because you're just walking around trying to pitch the modules that's basically gonna be your main focus for the first six weeks everything else in between that to be honest you're not gonna care about though there's gonna be a lot of stuff in between that you need to know but your main focus is going to be those modules. Um, a good rule of thumb is whenever you have downtime, which eh, you might get quite a bit, I don't know, um, pull out whatever module you're studying for that week and freaking study. You know what I'm saying? Um, any, any chance you get, um, your days are going to be real early and then you're going to get off pretty late, probably 1830, probably some, there might be some later days, but after that you're studying modules 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 um if you suck at prt you might want to brush up on that know everything in order um strength mobility session endurance sessions you're going to need to know all the exercises in order um you're going to need to know um the the cadence for it uh is it a slow count is it moderate uh you want to make sure you know that um other than that, uh, you should know by now if you're going to drill or think about it, 70% in each event for the uh, APFT. Um, just make sure you're strong, man. Make sure you can do well above 70% because you might think you're maxing out on everything. And when I got there, I was like, I'm good. You know, I maxed out on push-ups, sit-ups, run a decent run, you know. I got there, push-ups was trash, sit-ups was trash. The run's still decent because, I mean, the elevation didn't change much from where I'm coming from. So, I didn't have no issues with the run. But my push-ups and sit-ups went down substantially. I was like, okay, I guess I'm doing them wrong. But, it's alright. I mean, I'm still good. You know, I still I still was good. You know, 70%. So, just make sure you tighten up on that. Um, 
other takeaways is make sure you're staying motivated, stay positive, keep an open mind. Um, to be honest, one of the hardest things for me when I was at the United States Army Drill Sergeant Academy, yes, I said it, uh, was basically being away from family, man. Um, modules and family, being away from family was, was my biggest thing. So, uh, just, just take it for what it is. Nine weeks. It's like basic training on crack, except you gotta, you gotta, you should already know a lot of, a lot of the, uh, skill level tasks that you're going to be relearning. Um, you just gotta know how to teach it, man. Break it down for these future soldiers, you know, um, hopefully you get a group of a good group of classmates um that's another thing so you had drill sergeant school and your classmates you know it's no but ncos right so you got all these different people coming from different places ncos thinking they know everything and uh it's gonna get hectic sometimes after a while you're gonna start hating each other but I mean, it's all good. So hopefully you get a good group of classmates. I had a good group, so we didn't have too many issues. Um, it is what it is. What else? Yeah. Um, also, you're gonna you're gonna get tested out on a whole bunch of different things. You're gonna do the 350-6. You're gonna test out on that. You're gonna test out on land nav cls you're gonna go to ranges um so you're gonna have to qualify with iron sights and your uh and optics uh so hopefully you can shoot hopefully you know how to make adjustments and all that good stuff what else other than that Drill star school is doable you just gotta apply yourself and stay motivated man because there's gonna be times you like why am I here? Especially if you get DA selected, you're going to be like, I don't want to be here. Why I got to be here? But just do it and get it done the first time because if you fell out, you're going to come back, man. Basically, you get DA selected, you're you're on the roster. And you don't want to make coming to drill science school a, a whole lifetime event. So try to knock it out. Pass it the first time. Apply yourself. Um... Because if you fell out, you're going to end up coming back freaking 30 to 90 days. You're going to come back and you're going to do it again. So there's the right way and there's again. Hopefully you do it the right way the first time and you don't have to deal with it no more. Um, me, I volunteered. This is something I wanted to do. Get out of my comfort zone. Do something beyond me. Um, and hopefully I can uh, mentor some of these trainees out here and change the culture. Be prepared to lose weight. Uh, meals are portioned. I lost a whole like neck size in my uh, my white shirt from my a ASUs. Lost like good ten pounds. Um, if you do have time or you're super high speed, you know two scoops of whole. Uh, you can go to the gym on your own afterwards. I didn't go to the gym the whole time, and I'm starting to see that I got weak as far as you know muscular strength um because when you're doing prt it's all about progression through precision so you're not more or less you're putting toward the effort when you're doing pt in the morning but you're really focusing on doing it right with precision so you might not get enough out of physical training so you're gonna have to probably go to the gym on your own um what else? I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I mean, I touched the main things, man. Modules is modules is going to be life for your first six weeks. So basically, you're going to pitch a module, whatever one you pull, you're going to pitch every week. Um, we did it every Tuesday. We pitched a module and then our set six, we uh, we pitched out on a Monday. Um, that set six was rough, man. So I pulled stack and take man that was that was that was difficult it took me like 15 minutes to pitch that thing um so when you're pitching your module the this phrase you do not want to hear sergeant you have failed 
to meet all pertinent points, you may now begin your second attempt. Those are the words you do not want to hear from your drill sergeant leaders. I heard it a few times, but it's okay. I made it through. Um, you just you just roll with it, man, and you adjust and you drive on. But like I said, modules is the big thing. Um, make sure you're tight on PT. Make sure you know how to march. Make sure you know cadences. So marching and knowing cadences is life. There was a point to where we was marching and someone had to march us from A to B and it took like 10 minutes and you run out of cadences, man, you're going to get fired and there goes your leadership evaluation. But uh, in the comments down below, let me know if you're about to go to drill sergeant school or think about it. Uh, drop your questions or whatever. I'll be happy to answer them as I get them. Um, I just wanted to put this quick video out probably not that quick but I don't know I just wanted to put this video out and just to let you know what you really need to know if you're going to drill sergeant school um, those are basically the main points uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. you're gonna do you're gonna go through the gas chamber that's gonna be interesting um, but and between all of this between pitching modules you're gonna be getting evaluated on other stuff class participation you're gonna get you're gonna give classes you probably probably give like two classes depending on what it is i had to give a class on um i had to give a class on land nav shooting a bag ass easy stuff man and a class on marksmanship or whatnot um pretty simple stuff but just make sure you have a good classroom presence make sure you're not timid and afraid man um, I know probably my buddies out there is like, dang, man, Simmons used to be quiet and all this stuff. I'm still, you know, relatively, I'm quiet when I want to be and I'm not quiet when I don't need to be. So it's all about turning it off and on. I mean, I usually I'm, I'm chill and relaxed, but when it comes to time as far as work and everything and you need to be loud and boisterous or whatnot, then that's what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? So, uh. Anyways, I know I'm rambling and rambling. Like I said, if you got any questions about to go to drill sergeant school, think about it. Go ahead and drop a line. I'll uh, hit you back as soon as possible and let you know what whatever your questions are. Um, other than that, man, I'm just trying to stay focused. Also, when you're at drill sergeant school, man, make sure you're helping your buddy to the left and right. Because you're going to, at some point in time, you're going to need help from them. Um, share your knowledge. Everybody has different backgrounds. So whatever knowledge you might have, the next NCO might not have. Collectively, y'all could bring all y'all's knowledge together. And then y'all come out to be an awesome product and a great drill sergeant when you're out on the trail. Um, anyways, I think that's it, man. Like I said... Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you're going to drill sergeant school. Let me know your questions. Um, if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, I appreciate you. Appreciate you following. Appreciate you watching the videos. And remember, you only got one life. Stay home will be great. Love yourself so you can love somebody. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.